Buying or selling a home is one of the most important decisions you'll make in your entire life. Call the Holly Ritchie team today for a free market analysis. Hi everyone, welcome to a special edition of Spaying the Need, Teacher Appreciation Week. To do that, we'll be honoring teachers all week, we'll be honoring a variety of different people in our community. On top of that, we also, since we're talking about education, we also want to offer the opportunity for students out there to apply for a great scholarship that an organization, people I know that are giving back to the community, K-Square Marketing. Kelsey and Colin, thank you for joining us today. Oh, thanks, thanks for, for having, having us. us. Well, and, and I think the, the good part is, is you're giving out, and a lot of, a lot of organizations do, but you're doing it for something different. And yeah, I, I mean, think that's, you, I think that's what's great. Your your K Square Marketing is going to be giving a scholarship of a thousand dollars. That's called Fund to the Future. And yes. want to talk a little bit about that, how it came about, and where to go from there. Sure. So, um, how we sort of came up with this idea is kind of the the culmination of a lot of inspiration that we've had throughout our career and really um, thinking about how we wanted to make an impact in our little corner of the world. Um, so th throughout the throughout both of our careers, we've had the privilege and the opportunity to work with a lot of the amazing nonprofits in this community. There, there are so many incredible humans in this community that have either established their own nonprofits for causes that they are very passionate about or um, it, larger nonprofits like the United Way and the, and the Boys and Girls Club that, that we have had the opportunity to either donate time or um, work with professionally. So that, that sort of got us thinking about how we wanted to contribute. And then um, talking about this population in particular, these uh, graduating seniors or these this young adult population, um, you know, I, I think what really ignited that for us was um, a, a suit drive that we did for the Boys and Girls Club. We partnered um, with another organization um, to get that off the ground. And it was right before the pandemic. So we haven't been able to do it since, but hopefully we'll be able to to do it in the, the coming years. Um, it was great because the, the focus was to get these kids career ready or just future ready. So whatever their, right, right. their path looked like, whether they were going to college, whether they were going on job interviews, whether they were going into the trades, they had um, some, some professional wear um, to be able to go out and do these interviews or, um, you know, go to go to college with with some nice professional wear uh so it was incredible to see sort of um the shift in their in their confidence when they when they put on a suit and they had somebody who who took time to that was another part of this too is um we would send the suits out to get tailored as well so we they they had people who were actually um, spending time with them and preparing them for the future, whatever that may look like for them. And it, there was such a shift. There was a visible shift in their, in their confidence and the way that they carry themselves. And that stuck with us. I mean, that we, we refer back to, to that particular, um, that particular uh, project that we were involved in often. And so when we started thinking about what we wanted, how we sort of wanted to, to make our, our little contribution to this community, that's the first thing that we thought of. And it, and yeah. it, seems, it seems that it's kind of almost like a, a chain, a domino effect. Mm -hmm. When you kind of start helping an organization that does something good in the community, you kind of feel that inspiring thing of like, okay, wow, th this is, they're doing great work. And then it kind of continues to build like you, like you mentioned. And it's right, just right. like, what, what's like, wow, we're, we're doing all this good. What, what else can we do as an organization to, to give back? And I think this is great that you guys provided this opportunity for our, our high school kids. Thank, Thank you. you. And we're very, we are very fortunate to be in a position to do this. I mean, and I think that everybody, everybody is capable of, of helping in, in some form or fashion. 
everybody is capable of helping, whether it be donating your talents and your time or doing something like like what we're doing is establishing a scholarship award for this the students in um, Jackson Milton, Columbiana, Lisbon, and Springfield schools. And the reason that we we um, targeted those schools is because we um, are working in those schools in a professional sense. We're we're handling their public relations for those districts, and so we have been in this in these districts for a year now, telling their stories and meeting these educators who are doing what the boys and girls clubs are doing only they're doing it um in in the classroom where they are they're impacting these students every day they and by the way helping them navigate through a very weird time for adults let alone let alone a young person so that really inspired us to well how how can we help support this other than in a professional sense of telling telling these stories in these districts how how else can we help? Well, and I think I think you look at it as since we went to school, education has changed. Yes. And that's why this week it's teacher appreciation week. So this was only fit that we could also provide this to our viewers to say, hey, here's an opportunity for high school students to get an opportunity to apply for a scholarship and a thousand dollars. Trust me, it's a lot, especially when you see college kids coming out of uh, graduates coming out of college with 30, 40, hundred thousand dollars. So every little helps. And this is a great thing. Yeah. And I I think what what makes this particular scholarship unique is that we are offering it to those four school districts at this time. We we hope to be able to to grow this. Um, we're g- going to create a fund in the future, and we hope to be able to grow this not only for students, but we've discussed the potential of doing um, scholarships for teachers as well. So, you know, if they need um, some items for their classroom or things like that, they can apply for a teacher scholarship as well. Um, but seeing these kids in these particular programs, so for example, um, in the Springfield school district um, in Jackson Milton school district. um, They have robotics teams. And so in Columbiana as well. Um, And it's been incredible to watch these kids who might never have been exposed to STEM kind of projects just really excel in these robotics competitions and do really well win these robotics competitions. And be exposed to areas of education that's not just like the core curriculum. It's outside of the core curriculum. So we were inspired by that. Um, There's also carpentry apprenticeship programs that are happening in these districts that, um, you know, these kids go from not knowing any tools, any basic tools, to now they're building full structures. Um, And at the end of the course, if they take the two years, they actually get uh, credentials to move on into an apprenticeship program. So that has also inspired this. And it has distinguished this scholarship from other scholarships because we are offering it to kids no matter what their future path looks like. So whether they are going into the trades, going into apprenticeship programs, if they're going for licensures, um, you know, maybe they're taking real estate courses, things like that, um, as well as as well as the, the traditional, not right. The traditional, and, and what I don't want to say traditional, but I mean the as well as the higher education track as well. So we're opening it up to all all graduating seniors within those four districts that they had to they had to have a, a three point GPA um, as of the third nine weeks to apply for this. And yeah, that's something that we we felt very strongly about is that we want all of those kids to be eligible for it, no matter what their future looks like, because they all can use this money toward their future path. And, you know, we um, we thought back about when we were graduating um, high school and those opportunities weren't really available for kids. Mm -hmm. who You know, we went the college route. That was that was our path. We all did. <laughs> yeah. 
but um, there, there are plenty of kids who that's not their path. And, and these opportunities are available for them now in, in the high school classroom, which we think is so impressive and so important. You know what? And I was in a third grade classroom um, at Lisbon uh, schools just this last week, a third grade classroom. They're using 3D printers and they're making those little fidgets. I mean, so it's it's exploding and, and they're they're getting exposure early on so that they can start um you know they 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 can start um using those muscles in their brains that they're interested in in flexing a little bit that those opportunities weren't there for us and this is this is educator led you know talking yeah. about um you know teacher appreciation and administration too as well you know this this yeah. It's all the work of incredible educators and having the foresight to see like, hey, you know what? Times are changing. We need to change with it. And I have so, kids that I can tell use their brains a little differently than than other kids. And what can we do to help explore their how their brains work a little bit and, and, and help uh, support them? So it was important for us that we mirror what they're what they are doing in these districts with this scholarship it's it's funny you say that because third grade's doing the 3d printers mm -hmm. um i remember uh, i've talked to teachers in the last couple of years because we do um, we give the foundation has school supplies funds so we give out grants right. and school supplies and one of them was like yeah we're teaching algebra and i'm like oh what great what great in high school oh no in the fourth grade i'm like okay yeah. Back when I went to school, it was in like the 10th and the 11th grade. Right, so right. Algebra. So you can see how education has changed. And yeah. I'm glad you guys are doing this. This is a good thing for the community. We encourage anyone else, hey, bring us your stories. We want to tell them. We want like this, like this story of people doing good in the community. So let's wrap it up. Give us all the requirements you have to be. Sure. So, um, so to apply for this scholarship, we are accepting applications until May 15th, 13th, May 13th. sorry, May 13th, <laughs> um, at 5 PM, uh, is the, is the cutoff. So again, May 13th at 5 PM, um, and to be eligible to apply, Not at 501, 5 PM. That's right. PM. <laughs> so, um, to, uh, be eligible, uh, you have to be a graduating senior in Jackson, Milton, Columbiana, Lisbon, or Springfield high school. Um, those are again, the schools that, that we, uh, have worked in this last year, which is why we, uh, wanted to offer this to them. Um, so graduating senior in either one of those four districts, we are awarding one scholarship, um, of a thousand dollars. Graduating seniors have to have a minimum of a three-point uh, GPA as of the end of the third uh, grading period. And you can apply um, by or learn more by emailing us. Uh, that's Colin at ksquared.marketing or Kelsey at ksquared.marketing. Uh, you can see how you spell our names right there. Oh, and also, I, if you want like a full list of, of it, you can follow us on um, our Facebook page or our Instagram page. We have it all there um, laid out. So because there, there's a writing prompt associated with it. And then also uh, we'll take the top three um, and there's an interview component with it as well. So what we'll do to help you out, we'll take all that information, put it on our website and then link everything to you guys. Thank you. Perfect. Yeah, so you. you can check that. out our website at anthonyvspano.com and we will have all the links for you to access all that information, all their social media accounts and their email addresses for easy access. Kelsey, Colin, it's always a pleasure. Thank you. Uh, Thanks normally, for you know me, I'd ask you a bunch of questions, but we've already gone down that period. Yeah. <laughs> so I appreciate what you're doing in the community for giving back uh, to the schools and our, and our students because I could not picture me back in high school nowadays. It's just, it's a different atmosphere. Different. It is. Yeah. And, 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 you know, you just got to meet kids where they're at and uh, you know, they've, they're dealing with a whole different set of circumstances than, than we have some good, some bad. So you just kind of got to meet them where they're at and try to insulate and support them the best way that you can. And that's why we wanted to do this. We appreciate it as well. So 
Thank you everyone for joining us on this special edition of Spaying the Need. Again, we'll have all the information up on our website at anthonyvspano.com. Everyone, have a great day. Happy Teacher Appreciation Week to everyone. Thank you. Thank you.